is Abigail the Storyteller. And today, I am the Wicked Snake Queen. Happy Halloween! Are you excited for today's Minute to Win It? Take out your toilet paper from your ant box and see what happens next. What will you do when you come face to face with the mummy? Hey folks, welcome to the Yo Mummy Challenge. <laughs> Our household is absolutely nuts right now for it. And you're gonna be part of it too. We have three contestants. <laughs> We've got Emma. We've got Olivia, and we've got London, and they're gonna take little baby Elliot and make a mummy out of her. Using a roll of toilet paper, let's put five minutes on the clock, and let's get started with the Yo Mummy Challenge. Go. Wow, that was exciting. Now it's your turn. Grab a family member or friend and use your toilet paper roll to make a mummy. Send us a picture of your mummy to the number on the screen. What does Lucy think? It's me. Well, I think I should have been the mummy. Well, that can be arranged. Mommy turtle. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy dada. Do you know who Dracula is? If you want to find out, take out your food item. <laughs> Hi, Amp Kids. Welcome back. And today is our special Halloween episode. And we're going to be making Dracula fangs. What you're going to need are some cookies, any type of food coloring, preferably red, almond slices, and marshmallows. So the first thing you're going to do is take two whole cookies, get some food coloring, and line it up on the edges of both of them. Then take your marshmallows and place it along the bottom of one of them. Grab some almonds, stick them in, and sandwich your cookie on top. And then for once, you get to bite Dracula. Now have a great time, kids, and remember, make your Halloween fun as immortal as Dracula was. Bye! Take out your toilet paper and your pipe cleaner bag and see what happens next. Hey kids, welcome back to Amped Up Art. Guess what? It is 55 days until Christmas. I know, it is Halloween, but I just love Christmas so much. I just, I can't wait for December. But I guess we need to go ahead and do our Halloween craft today. So we are going to be making our very own creepy crawly spiders. So what you're going to need is a toilet paper roll, you're going to need some googly eyes, some black pipe cleaners cut up into eight little pieces, some tape, and some black construction paper. Alright, let's get started. 
first, what you're gonna need to do is have a parent or someone help you cut your toilet paper roll to be about this size. So once you've done that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your black construction paper and we're gonna roll it on the outside so that the toilet paper roll is completely covered. Just like this. And you'll have some leftovers at the end that you're gonna wanna cut off. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your googly eyes and you're going to put them right about there. Then once you have the eyes on, you're gonna take your little pipe cleaners and we're gonna make the legs out of them. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a little tip like this, put it inside, and before you tape it, you're gonna shape it the way that you want it to be. So I'm gonna shape mine like that. So once you've got it the shape that you want it, you're gonna take some tape again you're gonna tape the leg on the inside. There we go. So now you just do that with the other seven legs. A few moments later. All right, so after you tape on all the legs, you're done. Here's your little spider. You can watch it crawl across the table. You can set it out as a Halloween decoration. You can do whatever you want with it but we wanna see your spider creations. So send us a picture of your spiders to the number at the bottom of the screen, 704-343-8955. We can't wait to see your pictures. All right, Merry Christmas. I mean, Happy Halloween. Here's Dr. Lulu. Hi guys, welcome to Science with Dr. Lulu. It's Halloween and I'm upset because I can't find Einstein. Has anybody, ah! Einstein, is that you? Einstein, oh my gosh. Einstein, you scared me. You dressed up like a ghost, that's creepy. Look, I dressed up like a bird to be like you. Oh well, we got a really cool experiment today and guess what, it's all about. Vomit. I love vomit stuff. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to make this pumpkin puke. Okay, here's what you need. You need some water, baking soda, food coloring, dish soap, and vinegar. And of course, your pumpkin. And you can carve your pumpkin any way you want to. We didn't carve the eyes out, but you can. Just make sure that you have the mouth nice and big. Okay, 
First you take your water, and then you pick the food color you want to use. I'm going to use red. It puts several drops of food coloring in, so it has a really cool color. Then you put a couple of squirts of dish soap into your water. Okay, now take baking soda and add it to your solution. Now we need to stir it up, okay? We'll do a little more baking soda. All right, so we stir it, and then guess what we do? We pour it into our pumpkin, okay? Here we go. Now, for the last step, take your vinegar, are you ready? Are you ready for, okay, here we go. Pour your vinegar in and watch what happens. Ugh, our pumpkin's puking just like I told you. And you can use any color food coloring that you want to make it as gross as you can. I hope you have a great Halloween and I hope you have fun with your vomiting pumpkin. We'll see you next time. Let me just introduce to you Pete the Cowboy to tell us how he controls his horse. Howdy! Kellen wanted me to tell you about my horse. Oh, Dusty Long Legs. I tell you what, Dusty, now he's a smart horse, but he needs me to tell him where to go. Now, how do I do that? Do I just whisper in the horse's ear? <laughs> hey, what do I want to watch? No, that would work. Do I just use a giant steering wheel? <laughs> no. Instead, I use this. This is called a bit. Now you just put this in Dusty's mouth and when I want to go left, I just give a little tug to the left. When I want to go right, I just give a little tug to the right. When I want to stop, I just pull up just a little bit. It's called a little bit, but it can control the whole horse. Huh? <laughs> hey, Dusty, you want to go for a ride? I'll see you on the range, Kellen. Thanks, Pete. And now I'd like for you to meet my friend, Sally. She's a captain of a ship, and she's here to tell us how she steers her ship. Ahoy there, Kellen. I'm out here on the open seas. I bet you're wondering, how do I get this big old ship to go where I wanted to? Is it the big old wooden steering wheel? Well, that's part of it, sure. But it's nothing if it's not connected to the... Oh, let me show you. All right, let's see here. Ah, ha, here's my screwdriver. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, this thing is acting a little tough. Bring out the blowtorch! Oh, yes! Right here, this is a rudder. And this little thing controls the direction of the entire ship. It goes down in the water, and the wheel turns the rudder one way, and the whole ship goes that way! Turn it the other way, and the whole ship goes the other way! Without it, You'd be in pretty big trouble. Uh, Sally? What? Andy! Do you see that iceberg over there? You need to turn the wheel! What do you mean the wheel doesn't work? Oh no! Gotta go! So, James wrote that a bit in a horse's mouth and the rudder on a ship are small, but they have incredible amount of power. Just like our tongues. James wrote that a tongue is like a tiny spark that can start an entire fire. You see, our words are incredibly important, but they can cause a lot of problems. James wrote, with our tongues we praise our Lord and Father. With our tongues we curse people. We do it even though people have been created to be like God. Praise and cursing come out of the same mouth. My brothers and sisters, it shouldn't be this way. It's really amazing that nearly 2,000 years ago, what James wrote is still true. 
Our words have an incredible amount of power, and we have to learn to use them to build up others and not tear them down. We hope you had fun in today's episode. Happy Halloween! See you next time. Bye! Follow us on Instagram at Amped Online to stay up to date on the latest news, air dates, and extra content. Check out our webpage at ampedwestchurch.com to watch full episodes, segments, get more information about upcoming events, and more. Also, text AMPED to 704-343-8955 to sign up for your free AMPED subscription box.